Massive security breaches are now a daily occurrence and leave in their wake compromised data, inaccessible services and brand and reputational damages with the implication of large financial losses for the organisations that are affected. Long gone are the days of viruses and worms. Today's breaches are a result of sophisticated teams of hackers with specific goals. They use a range of techniques to gain access to the organisation's network including exploiting weaknesses in websites, infected mobile applications, social engineering and zero-hour malware. These tried and tested techniques have proven hugely successful in financial and retail sectors and we're now seeing the mature cybercrime industry turn its sights on the healthcare sector. Healthcare professionals are now experiencing an explosion in data with administrative technologies like electronic health records and patient portals becoming standard in the industry. The risk of being hacked is now increasing dramatically. Regulations now require healthcare organisations to implement administrative, physical and technical safeguards to ensure the integrity and privacy of patient records and other sensitive medical data. In addition, stringent EU legislation means that financial penalties are very severe on organisations who are failing to comply. But despite increased protection, the healthcare sector has been more aggressively targeted than ever before and worryingly successfully breached. Why? Well, healthcare data is valuable for three key reasons. Number one, the wealth of personal information contained in healthcare records can be easily monetized. Number two, the theft of credit card data has a limited shelf life and is only valuable while the card is unblocked. Whereas the information which is contained in medical records has a much broader utility and it can be used to commit multiple types of fraud or identity theft and it doesn't change even when the compromise is discovered. And thirdly, the value of personal data to a cyber criminal is much higher than credit card data and it can receive up to 10 times the value of credit card data on the underground cybercrime networks. So traditionally, security professionals in the healthcare sector would focus their effort on building a strong perimeter around the enterprise and loading software on the assets that would report to them weekly on how their security posture was performing. But this approach is no longer sufficient. Staff now access information from mobile devices and developers provision cloud resources on demand. It's clear that isolated security tools are no longer enough to protect against advanced persistent threats. Organisations need a new, intelligent approach to protect people, data, applications and infrastructure. They need to harden their defences before an attack, detect and prevent breaches during an attack and quickly respond to incidents after an attack. In order to effectively protect their network, healthcare organisations now need the ability to analyse all of the vulnerabilities on their network, to tag all of the assets, to correlate all of the log data, analyse all of the network traffic, while cross-referencing this with threat intelligence. The use of powerful analytics provides subtle indicators of a potential attack and alerts the security team to activity that falls outside normal patterns of time, location and user behaviour. At Smartic we help build effective security programmes that not only protect your infrastructure but also enhance your business operations. Our dedicated security consultants have access to the world's largest known database of threats 
and in conjunction with IBM we bring deep and broad industry expertise to the table.